a big shot unless we talking about hip hop bad at tiktok but i'll make movies like hitchcock challenge mitch ha uh, you'll barely make it like trick shots check your wrist watch it's time for you all to quit stop trying me i'ma be honest i'm pretty glad no labels eyeing me i'm independent and i don't want nobody buying me yo what up everybody this is mitch Terrell, and today i'm chilling got the hoodie on ain't even got my bed's not even made but i felt like i'd make a little impromptu video just to just to start out this this you'll understand when i say more but this video might be a continuation in the future so it seems recently recently it has seemed like there's been more discovering of chh artists pretty much blatantly copying mainstream music and what i mean by that is like we have a lot of conversations about influence and sounding like artists and being the christian version of somebody but it seems like it's taken more of a step where certain artists seem to be literally making like their own versions of a popular song maybe changing the beat a little bit maybe not even changing the beat a little bit saying it's their own track and then putting it out and chris soul who is a chh artist has recently been putting stuff on his story essentially exposing these like hmm and then putting a mainstream song and then a christian artist song that sounds real similar right and he's been doing that for the last week or so and then Kayla Saw, shouts to Kayla Saw. She's one of the dopest graphic designers in CHH and a good friend. We love her. She's hilarious also. She tweeted this earlier. She said, I should make a Spotify playlist and name it CHH songs and the artists they copied. And of course, everybody said, you should do this because that would be hilarious. And she's actually somebody who would do that. And what do you know? A couple hours later, CHH songs and the artists they copied. Y'all not tired. Perfect picture. Um, people are really <laughs> rocking with it. Um, said some me songs and artists, y'all know, gonna work on this playlist this weekend. And people are saying, go live. Dill is in the comments. Drop the link. People are saying, where's the link? The link. Where's the link? And it's sounding like the link's gonna be out uh, this weekend. So really interested to see it. Um, I feel like it, it should be some fun. It'll be fun. But real, like in all seriousness, we should not do that. Like it's it's fine to be influenced by an artist. I don't have a problem with that. I don't even have too much of a problem of artists saying they're the Christian version of somebody else. That's a different conversation for a different day. But don't steal songs or like literally take the beat or like make an exact version of a song. Because one, it's stealing if you're not changing it at all. Two, it's not creative. Three, you could get sued. See the Blurred Lines uh, court case. Uh, yeah, just don't do that. It's also just lame. I think it's lame. Make your own stuff. So really interested to see what the, what turns up on this playlist. Let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. If y'all know of any artists that have done this, how y'all feel about it. Do you care? Do you not care? Shouts to Kayla Sauce. Go check her out. She is an amazing person. She's hilarious. She's one of my favorite non-art. I mean, she's one of my favorite people in CHH, but um, she doesn't even make music. <laughs> and she's like that important, I think, to CHH. She's got influence. Um, so I'm really excited to see the link for this and see what all is in here. But in all seriousness, we should not do this. So if you're an artist and you're doing this and you're listening, don't, don't, don't do it anymore. Let me know what y'all think. Love y'all guys a ton. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Life's forever you have and praise God. Peace.